welcome back to the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Ailwolf, otherwise known as Ails, gentleman streamer, the No Throne Cicerone, Beer Goggles 21. And welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well. And if not, hopefully things will get better. Uh, I am back here uh, playing Street Fighter 6. As you might recall, I did start my journey through it last week, and to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't had too much of a chance to really dabble, dabble with it too much. So, um, yeah, I don't know that I'll be that much better. Um, I'm sure that I'll have to pick up some skills again, but you know what? Uh, the grind is what we live for here at the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I also noticed that my camera is just a bit fuzzy. And actually, he here's a... Give me just one second here. Clearly, I need to do some clearing of things. Cha cha cha. Give me just one second. Sorry about that, folks. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> uh, for those of you that were uh, that noticed the change, uh, congratulations, you are very perceptive. But for everyone else, you'll just have to live with the mystery of what happened there. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the week. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you got something good lined up. Um, I think without further ado, let's probably simply go ahead and talk about what's on tap today. Like I said, I'm trying to stay just a bit uh, healthier, for lack of a better term, before the evening. And so tonight I'll be having, once again, uh, helping from Vija Stefaner. This is a non-alcoholic malt beverage. It is actually their wheat uh, wheat beer. Um, and so I don't understand why they call it a malt beverage in this particular uh, iteration. Uh, but yeah, it, if... Uh, if you were actually squinting very hard and seeing this in the aisle, you wouldn't actually be able to tell that is a non-alcoholic beer. It looks actually quite uh, quite normal. So, what is a wheat beer exactly? Well, a wheat beer is a beer made of wheat. Uh, generally, the standard grain that is used for beers is barley, but you can use things like wheat. You can use things like uh, rice. Uh, you can use millet. And uh, I'm missing one very big one here. Oatmeal, yes. Oatmeal. Actually, you can probably make beer out of most grains. Uh, wheat beer is uh, originates, or at least has a long tradition in Belgium and Germany. And so V. Stefaner is actually one of the oldest breweries in Germany. Um, and I really love their wheat beers, There's especially their alcoholic varieties. Um, you might notice that if you have a wheat beer from Germany, it has a slightly banana-y flavor. Um, I forget what the exact compound is called, but it gives this a very banana bread type feel to it. And, and it's, it's very refreshing when you drink it. It's not heavy at all, even though wheat beers tend to be a bit cloudier. Um, very enjoyable. Let's see what Untapped has to set, say about this particular beer over here. Beer over here. <laughs> Okay, so it is absolutely not alcohol free. You can see a 0.5% managed to eke by. Our golden yellow alcohol free wheat beer tastes like a premium wheat beer. Tangy, fresh and full bodied, with hints of cloves and honey as well as fine yeasty spirit. The unique wheat beer taste is achieved by a method developed in collaboration with the Technical University of Munich, We Stefan. The top fermentation is not interrupted and the beer has time to mature. Only after the maturation, the alcohol is carefully withdrawn. It is first class thirst quencher after sports or a good companion to light summer dishes, sweet and sour dishes, or fruit sorbets. So it's a good companion to everything you're saying. Brewed according to our centuries old brewing tradition on the Vija Stefan Hill. So that's, a, that's an interesting tale. It's actually quite technical. I'm, I'm happy that it alludes to how this beer is actually made. Um, but uh, all that out of the way, let's go ahead and, and pour this kid and see what it's like. Unfortunately, I think I hit this bottle right as I was uh, pulling it out, so I'm hoping that it doesn't 
bubble over and it did not so my lucky day today so definitely gold and yellow in color I'm no chemist but I would certainly love to know how alcohol is exactly extracted from a beer I'm sure there's like a some calm chromatography or something happening there and so from the nose you can definitely uh, smell a certain sudsiness of course uh, it's got a pretty big head it's actually a little cloudy a little hazy as you would expect from a wheat beer wheat beers generally tend to be um, unfiltered maybe some very um, frail notes of honey there like a sweetness fang and ale dear viewer So good body, not as lively as their uh, standard Hefeweizen or wheat beer. I don't think that I can actually tell that the beer lacks alcohol or lacks a significant presence of alcohol. It's actually just refreshing. It is, uh, in terms of the palate, it, it, I feel like it is actually very uh, interactive uh, with the tongue. I guess you would classify that under mouthfeel, uh, abrasive on the mouth, which is not a bad thing, mind you. Uh, no real strong hop feelings here. Yeah, yeah, and some definitely strong notes of banana in the background. Uh, I would say if I were to classify this overall, refreshing, it's not particularly... Um, I hate to say this, but uh, it, it, it does not leave a lasting flavor in your mouth, um, which might, might be a good thing. And I could see why it would be good for a food pairing. Uh, yeah, so a, a good drink. Uh, if I'm having non-alcoholic drinks, I, I would definitely go for this one. And with that, let me go ahead and update my <clears throat> ticker over here. Just in case anybody pops in and they're wondering, well, what is this crazy, crazy man, crazy wolf man drinking? I would like some of that. And that's going to be a long one. Hopefully people stay tuned to actually read the entire thing in terms of rating this beer. Um, I wouldn't say average, certainly a little bit higher than average. I rated it at 275 before. I, I think that actually stands today. Great. So, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get on with our game. <clears throat> Okay, so here we are. I think I have to adjust the volume on this. And I'm using uh, a Hori bike pad made for PlayStation 5. And it has two of the shoulder buttons here on the fr front, making it a six button configuration. Which is not to say that I'm an expert in any way, I simply pretend to be one on TV. Oh, actually, I forgot to change those settings. I can probably do that from here. Uh, I think that might be okay. I guess if I feel like the noise is too much, we can we can adjust that. We'll see, I guess. Oh, and of course, question of the day. Street Fighter Six has been out for a week. Who's your favorite character thus far? Let's practice a bit before jumping back in. Training, tutorials.
haven't paid too much attention to the background so far. Push Ryu. Sure, Marissa. Now that is, uh, that is some physique. So there's our weak, medium, high, weak, medium, and high. This is our throw. This is our parry. And of course, that's our, what was it called? Drive impact. And then the other one's drive parry. I think I remember those basics on that. But how about... Command lists. So really the main resource here is the drive gauge as well as the super bar. I forget what that one is called. Dungeon charge. Shinku Hadoken. Shin Hashogeki. And so that's just like the Shinku Hadoken, except the opposite way. And then the Shin Shoryu again. Okay, so I think I understand Ryu pretty well. Now to actually get good at him is a completely different situation. Uh, let me t try out Juri, who is probably my second uh, main. No, no, that doesn't make sense. Second main. Return to character. Select. <clears throat> Edmund Honda. So it commands with her the Fugajin. Of course, I have to remember that mostly with her, it's kicks. I still don't know what a fuha is. Interesting. Maybe it follows from a fuha jin. It's like an extra resource for her. Not quite sure. And of course her flying upper. And a flying dash. In terms of super arts. The Feng Shui engine. Okay. So it's kind of like a Shinku Hadoken. Shinsho Ryuken, sorry. And then. All right, let's see if I can remember these. Oh, I see the Fuhas are here. Wait, what is, what just happened? What is that? That was weird. Oh, did I lose my Fuhas? There they go. 
and then oh I see so if I can accumulate those that's pretty cool so I gotta remember that one looks like I can also accumulate them no, it's only using the Fuha, Fuha Jin. Okay, so then in terms of my supers, let's try that. Fang Shui Engine. Oh, and I think that just makes me more powerful. Clearly something I should exploit here. And then... The level 3. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> okay, I think at this point maybe I will try one other character. Maybe I'll go uh, and use three characters mainly. I just have no idea who I should uh, be using. And it's just to keep things fresh. As, I, as much as I would love to simply use Juri or Ryu, it would be nice to introduce some variety here. And of course, 3 is a lucky number, as has been stated by the King of Fighters. <clears throat> Kami is pretty popular these days, which is my I will not choose her. That's silly. I don't know. Let's try one of the newcomers. Uh, this is Manon. And I'm simply going to say that uh, let's selecting for the hair color. First command list for her, Manège Doré. Okay, and that's like a. Huh. So it's a half circle back and then a punch. Round point, dégagé. You know, from all of these words, I'm assuming that she's she's French in some way, or maybe from Belgium. Renversé. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's fun. It's like a dance. So lots of pirouettes and dancing. Almost like uh, almost like ballet, uh, and then you combine it with like grappling. Effects depend on metal level. Interesting. All right, what about these super arts? What's the story here? Arabesque. Down and then forward, and then down and then forward, and kick. And then this one's a reverse and also kick. Pas de deux. All right, let's see. Uh, I should really just have these written down somewhere. I can't imagine that I'll have time to re reference any of this stuff while I'm playing. All right.
Jeez. Oh, this is again the same one. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Might use mana on every once in a while. How do I go back? <sighs> I guess we could go through some online matches. Why not? Rank match, casual match. <clears throat> no impact on league points. Of course, the problem with choosing a casual match is simply that you might uh, face off with a bunch of uh, incredible individuals. But I suppose that is par for the course here, folks. At the very least, I won't be affecting my league, uh, league points, right? Confirm opponent off, opponent's connection. I think that's good. Casual matches on. And yeah, let's uh maybe let's try Ryu first. For a few matches. And I know that um Street Fighter 6 was having some issues yesterday with its servers. Um so glad to see that they worked through that. Let us begin. <laughs> Hope you're ready. Ah, uh, setting the clock. Clearly. Some muscles on Guile. Uh, sure, why not? I haven't learned my lesson. waiting for that. Oh, great. Can't beat that suplex. Let's see how far I can keep up this losing streak.
<laughs> of course, very good combination. Ah, oh, great. Rough times, folks. Rough times for old ales. Ah, uh, no. Let's find somebody else. Train against your opponent's character. <clears throat> so, waiting for a new challenger. What time are we got on this? I think we're still good. Searching for a permanent. Clearly, uh, folks are trying to stay away from all ales at this point. You know, it would be nice if you could actually. Um, do certain things while you were waiting for a match to start. Like, could I do training while waiting? Actually, that's a good question. Six. Can I play while waiting for match? Oh, did it just kick me out? That's weird. Yeah, this is Street Fighter Five. Here comes a new challenger. Okay. And so it's, it's a Ryu. Oh, what a nice smile. Kinda has some red in his eyes though. the jump kick, right? <clears throat> Was that good reflexes? No, not really. That is one chiseled bod. Sure, let's do one more. Boom. Down he goes. Wasted that. Uh, sure. Well, best two out of three. I think we can let this person go on their merry way. Let's do another one with Ryu. 
He was wondering if I should do these rank matches. Maybe after this I'll uh, see what the room situation is like. Character guys, combo trial. Let's see. What was I looking for? How do I do training mode? Can I train while communication error? That's not nice. What is confirm? Enable or disable the comfort that displays? <coughs> I don't even know what that means. So where was I? While searching for opponent. Wow, they are good. Jeez. <laughs> ah, that is amazing. They are good. They are quite good. Reflexes are just not this good. What is complete destruction? I salute you. Let's go one more. First Hadouken. Wait. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Down I go. Even move. <sighs> well, I salute this person. Hey, cheers to uh, Kylie Nogue. Let's uh, let's leave this person to destroy other hapless chaps. Probably the same person, isn't it? Jesus H. Christ. Ah, wow. 
<laughs> oh, of course, that was bound to happen. Okay, well, let's do one more. Yes, why not? Boom. I forget what the meaning of downtime is in this game. back so easily. What is... Oh, hey. Completely dodged that one. Come on. That is rough. Jeez, that is wild. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's do one more match with um, Ryu, and then maybe switch to. Uh, Manon? No, Marissa. Yes, Marissa. Okay, and Ryu. And today we are facing Snort. A line. Let's smile. Let's always smile. What is... Ah, oh, he came in second. Great. Oh, man. No justice in this world. Super victories. Ooh, boom. Oh, totally. 
dodged it. Oh, great. Boom. Ah, oh, great. Ah, <sighs> and that was your luck. So let's give them a good mark and let's quit. I think we'll uh, end the matchmaking right now so that I can take a quick bio break. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time for a break anyways. We will be right back in about five minutes or so. Uh, yeah, five minutes is probably good. Uh, see you on the other side of this break for some more uh, fun online matches. Yeah, where am I here?
Okay, and we are back, folks. Let's go ahead and, uh, like I said, I did want to try out Marissa for a bit. So I'm not sure which online function I should use. Let's see, uh, <coughs> custom room. Could I create a room? Singles. One-on-one. -on -one. Player 16, reserve slots, privacy all. Allowed connection, passcode off. Sure. What are the rules? I want to know more about the rules. Round three. I guess they should all be one on one, right? All right, let's see if this actually helps us find anybody. So, choosing mode to confirm. Training is fine, I guess. So I, I'm wondering, do people just walk in? Is, is that the idea? Let's give it a couple of minutes. X battle settings. Kick myself. Like I said, I did want to try out Man and that's who I meant. That's exactly who I meant. And I guess I go to training while I'm waiting for this to happen. Okay, this is, uh, I think this is a bit more like it. Okay. What was the thing that she did? I just have to look at my uh, control command list here. Oh, it's in modern. That's why I was doing that thing. <sighs> I'm like, why is why are my inputs so weird? change my here we go so still awaiting opponent I'll train for a bit longer, but if nobody shows up, I might as well just uh, continue my uh, casual matches. There we go. What else does she have? And Ron, Ron Barce, right. Like I say, quite uh, quite elegant in terms of her move set. I 
And I think it's this gauge that gives me power to do things. Whatever that little flower thing is. I do like the fact that in this game all the supers are essentially done in the same way. Give it another minute, and like I said, otherwise I'll simply go to casual matches. It's like an axe kick almost. Reminds me of, uh, again, a character from King of Fighters. To your health, is what I should have said. All right, I think we're good. Okay, so let's get out of here <clears throat> and go back to casual match. Let's see, character I want to use is Manon using the classic setting. I wish there was a way to simply suggest that all of the characters that I uh, choose from now on are uh, casual. Sorry, classic. They are classic. Okay, so... Can I train at least? Oh, okay. Here comes a new uh, am I gonna get destroyed yet again? Maybe I need to learn the basics with this lady before challenging people like this. Ah, yes, I did something. over <laughs> well not too far behind just one second here folks oh good yes you were amazing let's do this again And I do like the reach on this character, Manon. She's got very long limbs, quite tall as well. What do you think you're doing, boss? All right, one victory for old ales. Wow, I think they are mocking me. Wow. 
what is Let's dance. Ah, the pain. <clears throat> Destruction. like a flamingo kick almost ah and down I go judoka of the year uh, you know what I think it's time for another drink So let's take a quick breather here and I'll see you on the other side of this break. Break? Kind of like a break? Not particularly. And that's not what I was going for. Clearly, I'm not reading my um, stream deck very well today. Um, but yes, like I said, I wanted to get another drink. And we are on our non-alcoholic hour. So we, but we still wanted to treat ourselves. So I found this at the old shop, bottle shop. This is Guinness Zero, which is uh, their classic porter slash stout, except that it has zero alcohol or less than 0.5% alcohol, which, uh, you know, I guess if I drink a hundred of these, I might feel something and I do need to feel something. Um, I've never had this one before, so it should be quite interesting. Of course, a porter uh, is a type of beer that is uh, made using darker malts, malts like crystal malts, chocolate malts, things like that, uh, and they brew dark. And so porters and stouts are generally opaque you can't actually see through them. They're a little lighter in body though. Generally, when you're talking about darker beers, what you're focusing on is the sweetness of the malts rather than the hoppiness or bitterness uh, of the hops themselves. Uh, one other note is that there's a, there's a very fine gray area, distinctions between porters and stouts. One rule of thumb is that if you roast or toast your malts before you uh, brew them, then they become stouts. But that's, uh, that's debatable. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what Untapped has to say on this issue. The issue at hand. Okay. Guinness Draught 0.0. .0. Um, 
To create Guinness 0.0, the St. James K Brewers start by brewing Guinness exactly as they always have, using the same natural ingredients of water, barley, hops, and yeast, before gently removing the alcohol through a cold filtration method. The cold filtration process allows the alcohol to be filtered out without presenting thermal stress to the beer, protecting the integrity of its taste and character. The brewers then carefully blend and balance the flavors to ensure the distinctive flavor profile and taste characteristics of Guinness. The resulting product is a stout that is unmistakably Guinness, just without the alcohol featuring the same dark ruby red liquid and creamy head, hints of chocolate and coffee. You know, um, that that's a that's a very uh, fine uh, description of your beer. Uh, once again. This is probably another time where a non-alcoholic beer takes has a very long description, and a lot of it is is the process by which it uh, it actually goes through through this uh, de-alcoholization, which is nice. It's always interesting to know how these things work. Um, anyways, let's go back to my main screen here and actually taste this guy. I do love clarity. Oh no, is it going to blow up on me? It looks like it might. Okay, I think the initial effervescence might be gone. We might be safe here. Yeah. It is not the first time that we have a freak accident here at the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. Sometimes it's not only my performance that falters, folks. <laughs> that uh, that needs a bit of context. Okay, I think that's it. <clears throat> so that you can't actually see through that. That is actually quite thick, and that is very common for Guinness itself. It looks very much like a standard Guinness. And, and look at that just very dense, uh, bubbly head right there. That is also uh, another very common trait of Guinness in terms of a smell. Yeah, just a slight sweetness, a slight caramel character through it. Fang and ale. And so very good notes of chocolate. Uh, strong notes of coffee Pretty light body. I want to say 1.5 out of 5 if I was classifying it as anything maybe 1.75 even There's some good notes of uh, uh, Maple there I want to say uh, some some good sweetness. It's actually it actually feels very much like a standard Guinness in terms of creaminess uh, And whenever I take detect creaminess, I, I almost feel like I'm thinking about vanilla Yeah, no, no real hop flavor to it. Maybe a slight tinge of a burn at the end, but very, very light. I really like this beer. If you didn't tell me that this was alcohol free, I would probably not, um, not think twice about it. But then afterwards I would find out and I would say, how dare you, you ruffian. Give me back my alcohol. Oh, that was awful. So Guinness Draught 0, 0.0. I am glad that I have a few more cans of it. Uh, with that, let me go ahead and update my ticker over here. I think it's right over here. Okay, so I think that's updated right there. And let's go check this one in. I'm gonna rate it as, as an alcohol-free beer. This is a solid 3.5. Just a few notes here. If you hadn't told me this was alcohol free, you would have made a fool of me. A fool of me. That's a... Yeah, I like that. I like that. <clears throat> All right, so we checked in. 
I think we're good for the beer talk for a while. Let's get back to the action. And so we were practicing with uh, Manon. And I think I want to do a few more matches with her before turning to Jury. <clears throat> Classic. Okay. So we're waiting for an opponent. And uh, let me know if you uh, on stream would like a uh, would like to pick a fight. Certainly, would love to have you. Like I said, I sure wish that I could. I was allowed to do some of this stuff while I'm waiting. Here comes a new challenger. <clears throat> How does he do that with his hair? Oh. drives. Oh, and the suplex. Beautiful. This match was worth it just for that specific move. Shabby. Needed to go through that. What is... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Okay, that was uh, an extremely hard knockdown, I guess. I think they're upset. With just cost. <sighs> that was not a clear victory, unfortunately. Uh, because of that internet lag that got introduced. Serves me right. They've certainly got a strategy. Just wiping the floor here. Nice. And just uh, her reach kind of makes up for the lack of a projectile attack, which is actually quite nice. kind of difficult to get past that uh, particular defense where he puts a sonic boom right in front of himself and then he shoots another one. 
Okay, so let's quit casual matches. I think we're ready to go back to uh, rank matches. <clears throat> and so the character that I've been trying to do this with is a uh, jury. Do I need to do anything else here? Random commentary settings off. Either side, fighter profile. Do I have a theme? What is my theme? Oh, okay. What is my comment? Babe in the Woods, is that good? Oh yeah, it's fun loving fighter. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess. I Once again, I should probably work on my uh, avatar, which I really haven't. Oh, and I did just want to check. Eh, never mind. Wonder why is it way it is paused while I do this? Maybe if I'm in the training room itself, oh, it goes, okay, there it goes. It will search for an opponent, that's nice. Okay. that old man's strength. And so I guess the goal here is to get some of these Fuhas. Jeez. Telekinesis or something, something like that. I should stop drinking between Ryan's. Wow, this guy's. shouldn't be allowed in this type of match. I've got a long way to go. <clears throat> uh, sure. Let's request a rematch. What is that? Oh. I thought he was leaving like something on the screen for some reason. Alright, oh, Fuba Jin is with kicks. I gotta remember that jury is mostly kick based. Certainly is exploiting my weakness to cover on lows. Boom.
Ah, oh, come on. And like I said, quite good with the lows. Darn you, JP. Morgan. Uh, fighting customer? Oh, I see. Command list. So there's the Fuhajin. Which gives me the Fuhas. So really not, not very hard to... I just gotta remember. <laughs> oh, I guess it didn't work out. Here comes a new challenger. And Marissa. Mustly Marissa. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Not so much. Give me your best shot. Beautiful. Let's go. Nice. Oh, welcome, friend of the stream in Aiko. Just having a few ranked matches against online people who are far better than myself. How are you doing today? Hopefully, uh, things are going swell. Oof. That is a beating. Nice. Oh, great. Dude, saw the notification but was occupied, but I wanted to squeeze in and say hi and watch for a bit. Uh, hey, no no worries. Uh, thank you for uh, considering uh, showing up, but you know, it's, it's never an uh, obligation, so don't uh, don't ever feel like uh, you uh, have to absolutely be here. I'm sure you have, uh, you've got uh, lots of other fun things that you could be doing, but thank you for your time. Uh, let me go back to the training mode over here. Certainly always appreciate the company. Ooh, I was like, boy, these matches come in quite quickly. Ah, and of course, it's our friend Luke. It is not our friend Luke. We do not like Luke here in the Ails and Fails Switch stream. Now he's an alright chap, actually. What's your record looking like? I'd probably say 80% losses. I don't know. I don't even have to look. I'm just not that bad. <laughs> but I am learning. Platoon addition to this game. Yeah, lots of squid ink everywhere. Every time somebody gets hits, the ink flies.
and down he goes. That ought to show you. Wear shoes. Oh wait, Jerry doesn't wear shoes either. Let's do one more match with this fellow. Well, they're not putting a, a much of a fight, huh? The thing is, this is, these are ranked matches, so they're actually matching me with people who are my skill level, so... There you go. That's the explanation for that. I am actually not. Not that proficient. What happened to button mashing, haha? Huh? No, that, uh, that practice is alive and well. You don't have to look too far for that. She's checking her app, just uh, her winnings on Bitcoin or something. Uh, and let's go back to the previous mode. Wow, these guys are quick. Alright, Hobo Ken as they call him. Expect you to win. Oh, they are quite mobile. Nice. I like the fire effects. Kind of interested why his clothes don't catch on fire, but uh, I feel that there's a few more things that need to be explained before that. Snatch from the jaws of defeat. Dolomite. The final countdown. Again, uh, exploiting my uh, weakness against slow attacks. Yes, quite well. Let's do this once again. Oh, 
Oh, they are good. to the beach. lucky that I got I actually managed to corner him there extra resource that she has is actually quite powerful. I like it. Wish I would have known that back in 5. Bronze. Ooh, okay. Skill is everything. Forget what this guy's name is. Jamie. What an assuming name. Here. This guy's actually quite good. He's got a. His fighting style reminds me a little bit of like a. Eve Mon. At least from the movies, anyways. What do I know about Wing Chun? But yeah, quite a, quite a solid set of moves there. it on me. Now that's a solid core right there. Ah, clearly I should have chosen a character that drinks, but it is too late now. Here I am just simply trying to change the momentum. Oh wow. Didn't stand a chance.
I need to parry better. Wow. Where did that giant main come from? <laughs> Became king of the jungle, I guess. Quite a good show. Uh, that drink sure certainly looks delightful. Uh, return to previous mode. A mirror match, as they used to call it back in the day. At least I get to keep OG. OG jury. Wow. Clearly showing me how to play for real. finish should have destroyed the screen right there. Yeah, that's amazing. That's quite amazing. punch of course. Let's go Ailes, did you get a raid? I just got home but had the stream muted. Uh, no, it just seems like uh, lots of people want to watch amateur, uh, an amateur player uh, not do so hot. Alright, uh, let's go back to previous mode and continue practicing. Sorry, still trying to get the supers. And Kami is a beast in this game. Ah, oh, that's not a nice look. My title. Boom. 
Yeesh. Oh, ha. Uh, for a second there, I thought that I had pulled one through. They saw that coming a mile away. Woe is me. I almost feel like we should have had one of those Mortal Kombat crunch, uh, bone crunching scenes right there. The x-ray scenes. Oh, imagine that. Finally people with thumbs, bro. Don't let them use you as a trading dummy. Hey, it's all good. There's always somebody better than you. And in my, uh, for my good fortune, let's say it's about a million of them. Famous uh, ankle kick. Nice, nice. Let's do this again, why not? That is madness. through. Oh, of course the throw. Wow. Boom. And here I am trying to pull up a, a super right at the last minute. Amazing, amazing players out there. Alright, maybe a couple more matches and then I think we're done. Good old crouch block and hit. Never heard a better strategy. <clears throat> Let's do this. Here I was trying to go for the drive impact, maybe pull on a cheap one. 
Nice. Precious. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Ah, slam right onto that wood. Good old Ken. He has seen better days. <clears throat> Let's do this again. Wild. Violent Ken. Very small window of a chance there. Can leaving up prisoners this time around. Looks a little bit like Terry Bogart these days. What time am I at? Okay, maybe one last match. Ah, and it's our friend Zangief. when it comes to uh, wrestling characters. <laughs> Every single vertebra in my back is not destroyed is uh, beyond me. <laughs> Jeez, guy. So seamless. How are we in the same cup? This is this is ridiculous. Body of Steel. Alright, let's do one more. I think he's just ready for most things here. How did he grab from all the way over there? That is some ridiculous reach. <sighs> I think if I can keep some distance, I might be doing a bit better here. Let's go. 
Oh, come on. That is amazing. Excellent, excellent. All right, and I think that is it. That is it for today. I think I've received enough of a pummeling here, folks. Uh, let me get out of here. Okay, and with that, let's go back to intermission here. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> when will the misery end? Uh, probably at the grave. So that was the Ails and Fails Twitch stream for today. Um, and actually, that is it for the week. Uh, it's been a good week. I generally think that it's a good week when I actually get to my th uh, uh, prescribed streams. Uh, generally, something comes up and I have to cancel at least one of them. So this is let's call this one a success. If you like this sort of madness, uh, feel free to tune in next week. I, I do streams on... Wednesday nights, Thursday nights, and Friday afternoons. Check my schedule, check my Twitter for that information. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I gotta I gotta practice some more here, folks. Uh, clearly, the I am not ready for, for the world stage just yet. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. But uh, all that being said, thank you everyone for coming in. Thank you for that invisible raid that apparently has already left. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed your five minutes here. Um, can't wait for more Street Fighter. I, I, I'll probably play it for at least a couple more weeks. Um, and then maybe switch switch it up. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you everyone. Have a great afternoon. Have an excellent weekend. And hopefully I see you again. Stay thirsty, Alpac. Mm -hmm.